Welcome to the Teaching the Skills That Matter in Adult Education video series. Over the course of this series, we will spotlight the five content areas covered in the toolkit. Civics Education, Digital Literacy, Financial Literacy, Health Literacy, and Workforce Preparation Skills. The Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act, WIOA, identifies these as topics of critical importance for adult learners. We will share research-based best practices for teaching these topic areas effectively. This video focuses on civics education instruction. If you have ever wondered how to incorporate civics education into your classroom, this video will be of great help to you as it shares best practices to support your ability to successfully teach civics education in your classroom. Civics education equips adult learners to deal with issues of critical importance in their lives and communities, with advocacy and agency as central tenets. Whether preparing for the U.S. Citizenship Test or the Social Studies HSE subtest, civics education provides learners with an understanding of the fundamentals of government, ideally through a critical lens that draws on learners' own experiences, beliefs, and worldviews. More importantly, a well-designed civics education program supports the individual's full integration into society with opportunities to accept leadership roles and participate in community organizations. Let's take a look at how Robert Lee uses these best practices with students in his classroom. He is remotely conducting a civics education lesson on the Flint water crisis. You will find this lesson in the civics education tab in the toolkit. Seven of the nine TSTM central skills are taught in this lesson. They are communication, critical thinking, processing and analyzing information, self-awareness, respecting differences and diversity, interpersonal skills, and problem solving. Um, so in the next few classes, uh, we're going to focus on one specific area, Flint, Michigan, all right, where the city water system was not working properly. Um, so we're going to discuss a couple of things. Um, one is the reasons this happened. Right, why did this happen? Um, two, the effects on the citizens. All right, so what happened to the citizens as a result of this toxic water? Um, three, the strategies that are being used to solve the problem. All right, and then four, how can we use this example, this situation in Michigan to think about our own communities? First, build a classroom community that exemplifies democratic processes and values diversity. And then let's look at these two last words. They're very related. Um, they mean the same thing, but they're just a different part of speech. What is toxic? I think D. D? Uh, it's D. Right? D. I think Anna mentioned D is correct. So toxic is an adjective. Mm -hmm. And toxin, um, it's noun, that's why B. Mm -hmm. And then toxin is a noun, All right? So toxic, and then after toxic is usually, in, it's it's a noun. So, so it could be like a toxic um, drink or a toxic food. Oh, even I know toxic person. Sometimes it also can be. <laughs> Now, let's hear from a student who experienced the civics lesson. Yes, the seaweed lessons were were very in fact um, my my life, and I I know more about uh, uh, taxi, tax. I know about uh, election, um, everything uh, about um, American. Yeah. <laughs> Second. Engage learners with civics topics that require research, problem solving, and critical thinking. Equip learners with the language, content knowledge, and skills needed for deep inquiry and active, informed civic engagement. Uh, when you turn on your sink, lead can out of the pipes and into the water. Leech. Leech is correct, yes. Very good. Third, support learners' development of the skills needed to become participatory, justice-minded citizens who can take action when problems, issues, and events are affecting their communities. 
instead of drinking tap water, um, what did the children in, in this Colorado community drink? They drink a lot of sugar, sugary drink. Why, why did they drink sugary beverages? How come they didn't want to drink tap water? Because they don't trust the uh, tap water. Yeah, they, they didn't trust the tap water because they heard about Flint, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So that was a, a result of what happened. All right. And then, um, what were some unintended consequences of this? Many children have cavities. What would you tell these residents to do? All right, they're, they're afraid of their tap water um, because, you know, they heard about Flint. Um, but then, you know, their children started drinking sugary beverages instead of water. And now the children are getting cavities. Um, so what would you tell the residents to do? Choose to choose uh, bottom water. Hmm. Okay, so maybe buy some bottled water. Uh, buy, uh, buy yeah. some uh, filter. Uh, yeah. Buy some filter uh, at home um, and use the uh, filter water. I bought, I bought a, a system filter on, on my home. Oh, great. <laughs> Let's hear from another student who experienced the civics lesson. I know a lot now. So uh, before that, I, I don't, don't pay any um, attention to the particle. In my country, we, we can't talk about more. So it's helpful for me to to um, know more about this country. It helps me a lot and my family. Thank you. <laughs> Lastly, build knowledge of U.S. history and systems in ways that are relevant to learners' lives. To ensure relevance, always apply the students' learning to issues of concern for their families and communities. I have a question. The company Public publishing the information. I think uh, must be good. That's a good point. Yeah, it it should be. <laughs> right, the information should be good. What the truth? The people can know the truth. Well, it's it should be good. You know, most of the time it is good. Most of the time they have scientists and researchers um, looking at the information. Right, so it's it's usually good, but you know we are humans. Humans make mistakes sometimes. But in, in Flint, um, the leaders. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we saw that video of the Flint leaders drinking the water and pretending like it was good. You know, like the case of Flint. You know, if you do something bad, if you publish bad results, sooner or later, people are going to find out. Civics education has equal importance for both those born in the United States and those who have come as immigrants. Quality civics education provides a means for all learners to become not only personally responsible citizens, but participatory and justice-minded citizens as well. Let's hear one last reflection from a student about civics lessons. Like, civic lessons definitely are very helpful for me. First of all, I'm really new for this country. It's like only one year here, uh, and really a lot of new things around me. Uh, especially like an example, um, I can tell about our uh, past session. We learned about the president elections. Uh, also, um, I know a lot of uh, about my rights in this country. Thank you for watching. To learn more about other content areas or effective instructional approaches to teach the skills that matter, please be sure to download the TSTM Toolkit and watch the remainder of the TSTM Adult Education video series.